Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be, I'm going to put these two videos together. I was going to do them separately, but I'm just so excited. I don't want to have to wait even longer to show you these products. So two really, really exciting things happened to me recently. First of all, I got into the top 30 of the Feel Unique's top vlogger competition. Thank you so much everyone who gave me so many kind words saying congratulations and good luck for the next round. Unfortunately, we didn't make it into the next round. I did upload the video that I made for the next round. Um, I'll leave the link down below. It's already up on my channel. But we didn't make it into the top four, unfortunately, but it was a big party for it all down in London. But unfortunately, the train tickets were £200, so I couldn't afford to go. So I did miss out on the party and meeting, obviously, all the other people that got into the top 30 with me too, and obviously the winner as well. However, I did get the goodie bag sent to me, which, I mean, how good is this bag? It says, tomorrow's top vlogger fest, feel unique. Obviously, that was who the competition was with, and it is... It is filled with goodies, like absolutely filled to the brim with goodies. I had to come in two parcel bags because there was just that much. You couldn't actually fit it all into one bag. And the other thing that was really exciting that happened to me is I won a competition on Instagram to go to London with W7. You'll have probably saw it in a vlog when I've talked about it and going to the animal shelter and all that kind of stuff. But today I'm just going to be showing you more in depth of the products that we got given. I took my friend Amber with me. I basically got to go for their new launch for their new vegan range. And it's called A Very Vegan. The bag is beautiful. I have kind of done it in a in another video, like another vlog, going through the stuff, but I didn't open things and stuff like that. So I really wanted to go into full depth and put these two really exciting things that have happened to me together. And today I've just gone on Twitter and I've won another giveaway with Ego Shoes, which is really good because I've actually really been trying to um, contact them to work with them to like show you how amazing their shoes are because they look phenomenal. So now the fact that I actually get to pick some that I want, oh, I'm so excited. I think I'll start with the top vlogger stuff first, just because you have seen um, the very vegan stuff a little bit in vlogs and stuff. So we'll start with the skinny bag first. And it literally came, like I got it today, so I'm really excited, like probably hyped over it. So the first thing is a clean hands gel from Locketane, is that how you say that? Got that. Oh my god, I got this nail varnish. If you know me, you know I love the colour green. This is the On The Roadie Essie Nail Polish. We have the Hair Burst 100% Organic Moroccan Argan Oil, which looks like this. If you're wondering my makeup for today, by the way, it's a full face test in face stock home makeup, including the glitter and everything. My lashes are Dirty Doll lashes. I will leave the link down below to their Instagram and to their <clears throat> website, my throat was going there, and to their website. And I'll leave a link down below if this tutorial is already live. And I've just literally just swapped the lip for the other lipstick that I mentioned in the video. Okay, so <laughs> the next one is the Ameliorate, Ameliorate, I think that's what it is, Transforming Body Lotion. We've got a Giorgio Armani Mascara, how crazy is that? I literally saw this and was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The only thing is, I mean, how stunning is this? The only thing is, it's like a orangey colour. I think I should think of some kind of funky tutorial I can use that in. I'm trying to get braver with my looks. I don't know if you can tell, with me having like a full like green glitter on. I'm getting a lot more braver with my makeup, so... Fingers crossed there's going to be so many better tutorials coming. We have a Tanya Burr matte lip as well. Amber absolutely raves about this, so I'm so excited. And this pink one is totally up my street as well. So I'm so excited to try that because Amber wears hers like nearly every single time I see her. She's got it on and it looks so good. I've got the Essie Nail Varnish in Backseat Besties. And I actually got two of these in the same colour. So I'll be putting one of them into my giveaway pile. This giveaway is coming, my friends, if they're not already up. <laughs> this next one is from Shishido. Shishido. I'm really bad at pronouncing things. Can someone help me? <laughs> this is their Soft and Cushy Polisher. When I first opened this, I thought it was going to be something for your nails. But it's not. It's an exfoliant. But from what I've read, it's an exfoliant that you put on your skin after you've cleansed your skin. So I'm excited to try that and see what that's like. A lot of the stuff in here, I've never tried the brand of before, so that's really interesting. And then we have the Percy and Reed Shine and Fragrance Spray for your hair. Oh my god, this bottle. Sorry, I'm talking so fast because I'm so excited. This bottle is so cute. Like, I love that. Should we smell it, actually? I haven't smelled it. Ooh, 
Oh, that's a funky. Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh, I, I really like that. Really like that. Another nail varnish, we have the Barry M Molten Metal Nail Paint in the shade Pink Ice. We have this, this is the James Reed H2O Tan Mist for your face, right? This looks so interesting because, look, it's clear. But it's gonna tan your face. And when I was reading it, you literally just spray it on. It's a refresh and glow rose water tanning spray. Fast dry mist gradually builds a natural radiance and glow day by day. The hydrating cooling mist makes for an ideal makeup primer and refresher. Colourless rose water formula allows for an easy mirror free application. Featuring tan tone technology which helps ensure the most natural result for your skin tone. That's crazy that you can put that on top of your foundation as well and it'll still tan your face. That'd be not that would be actually really good as a primer, like to use it before your makeup because then you're tanning every single day, but really you're not like you're not going through the effort of tanning every single day. Really like the sound of that. And then we have the Philosophy Puberty One Step Facial Cleansing Cloths as well. Really excited to try that because I've never tried their cloths before. We have a bronzer from Vita Librata, I think that's how you say it. We have this which is really really cute. This is their beauty on the go kit. And when I opened this up, I was with Millie when I opened it because we both get really excited when I get parcels. It has like a mini hairbrush, tweezers, hair clips, hair bubbles, hand cream. I'm trying to think what else was in there. Like there's absolutely all sorts in that tiny little bag. A mirror, absolutely all sorts. And it's just good obviously for on the go. Then we have a lipstick from that other brand that I can't pronounce, Toshido, Toshido. And this is a really, really deep red colour like how pretty is that i love these little mini lipsticks as well they're perfect for a night out because you can just pop them in your handbag especially if your clutch isn't very big too and then the last two are both fake tans as well are you coming in because it's on the setting no it's okay <laughs> and this one is from saint marie's it's their advanced pro formula ultra finish and it has an applicator in it as well and it says skin perfecting tan sealer ultra matte finish even coverage and an airbrush blend and if you know me you know i absolutely love saint marie's like it's unbelievable i think it's even better than saint tropez which obviously this is like a cheaper version of it and i've never tried this before so i am so excited especially that gives you like an airbrush finish too i mean who doesn't want that <laughs> and then the other one is the fake bake ready to wear tan five minute mousse and travel size one and this isn't obviously meant to be you put on straight away and within five minutes you can get dressed, go about your day and it's not going to transfer or you can go straight to bed and it's not going to get on your sheets. I think I already have this. If I do, I'll have to double check, but if I do, I'll put this in the giveaway pile as well to give to you guys. And then the next huge heavy bag is obviously from W7. I'm just going to go and pull them out at a random order because there's that much. <laughs> so the first thing is the Power Puff Pro. I will be doing a full video testing a full face of the vegan range by the way. Give it a thumbs up if you definitely want to see that because I'll get on it straight away. Then we have the mini power puffs as well. What do they remind you of? And um, the other ones. The other ones, the beauty blender ones. Yeah but then my mom pink and yeah. kind of pink. That's like a bright pink isn't it? It's like a pinky purple. I, I like that kind of pink. And then we have the sheer loose powder in the sheer translucent. So this is what it looks like. And I think there's only one shade of this. I absolutely love the packaging of all of this range. I'm honestly so, so happy that it's all green as well. And then we have the highlighting powder in the shade Nature's Glow, which just looks like this. And then we have an eyeshadow quad in this beautiful packaging again. I love how just simplistic it is. And this is what it looks like and this is in the shade warm winter do you like it that one the love heart. yeah it's got the love heart inside as well it's got like half of it that's cute isn't it and it's got the grass on so yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> that's funny that was good isn't it i like what they've done and then we have a powder blush this is the shade maple mist this one is bright you ready <laughs> it's the same one but bright yeah it's like, the same pattern isn't it no like the same tree but it's bright I yeah like that, pink. like that pink 
I've got a mini with me, by the way, just in case you're wondering who the little, the little yeah. noise is. Little, little elephant. Little elephant. <laughs> and then we have the matte bronzer in the shade Sun Kissed, which just looks like this. I cannot wait to get this on my face because I think it's going to be amazing. And I watched Stephanie Lang's video of her testing them all out, and she said that she was very impressed by the bronzer. So I'm really excited to try that. And then we have this. This is the Brow Eco, which is the complete eyebrow grooming kit. I like that packaging. It's nice, isn't it? There's only two things that have this packaging, I think. And this is what it looks like. So in here you get your brow wax, your highlighter, two brow powders, some mini tweezers which always come in handy and an angled brush and brow comb. I actually don't have any tweezers here, I don't think. I think the only tweezers that I have are at Blake's house. The next one is the same kind of packaging. And this is their Eye Eco Natural Nudes Eye Colour Palette. And it looks like this. Absolutely stunning. It does remind me of a lot of their other palettes, but obviously this one is vegan. Oop. So if that is something that you're into, like if you're a vegan or a vegetarian or you just want to make sure that there's nothing harming any animals in the products that you're using, then this is amazing. I do believe that W7 are cruelty free anyway, but obviously this is just a special vegan line. So yeah, really excited to try these and I'm, I'm want this one all of my eyelids like right now. <laughs> it looks really good. It looks like a bit like my mummy's. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's the same, but mum's is just... Different packaging. Yeah, mum's is a different one. My mum also has um, some W7 eyeshadow palettes as well. But it's different packaging. Yeah. Next up we have the powder blush in the shade Happy Honey, which looks like this. Once again, quite like a bright colour, but these are the kind of ones that you could apply on very, very lightly on the cheeks and it just gives you like a nice pop to the skin. Oh, we also have a little bag as well. These are what were on the table for everybody who was having lunch with us. So all like the people who worked for W7, um, Stephanie Lang and her manager and Olivia Buckland and her manager, my friend, the other competition winner and her friend as well. And we all got a little bag full of some of the stuff. But obviously because me and the other girl won the competition, we got obviously the big bag with everything else in as well. And obviously our friends did too. So this is just a little bag that was on the table. And inside this little bag is the things that I'm gonna give away. So I have an extra of that warm winter eyeshadow quad. And I also have the Healthy Heather Very Vegan Lipstick as well that I'm gonna be giving away to one of you guys. I'll probably pop it in this bag actually, but I will be doing a giveaway when I do the full face tutorial, trying them all out. This eyeshadow quad is the one that I am so excited about. This is called Autumn Ambers and this is just literally me in an eyeshadow palette. Like this colour here, like literally like the lightest little swatch. I mean look. That's your colour. How beautiful is that? That you, is absolutely That's one of your colours. Stunning. Colours. And you could like even do another swatch, there's that much eyeshadow there from rubbing my finger in twice like I cannot wait. I think when I did the other tutorial, like I said in my other video when I was talking about all of this, that will definitely be going on my eyeball. Mm. On my eyeball. You mean on that eyeball. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> you wouldn't even be able to see. It'll be like sand. Ooh. I think I won't do that then. <laughs> <laughs> the next blusher is in the shade Bear Blossom. And this is more of like an orangey kind of blusher instead. Let's have a little swatch of this bad boy as well. Oh, that's pretty. That is really nice. This is like more my cup of tea. I'm not like a huge blusher person and I'm not like a bright blusher person either, so. And then we have the silicone pebble, which I'm excited to try out. I won't be trying this in the full face tutorial because I wanna see what the foundation's like in a normal way that I would apply it, but I will be putting this to the test. So let me know if you want me to do that, give it a thumbs up, and I'll most definitely will do that for you. And then the next eyeshadow quad is the shade Spring Spice, which looks like this. This one actually looks really pretty as well. I really wanna try this one. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what that one's gonna be like on, but I, I will definitely be putting that gold one on my eyes. <laughs> and we have some lipsticks. We have the shade Nature's Nude. This is their Moisture Rich Lipstick, which just looks like this. I haven't actually swatched this. Shall we swatch it? 
No, I won't anyway, I'll save it for the video. <laughs> Then we have another eyeshadow quad. This is in the shade Summer Sands. Very, very nice natural colour. This would be really good if you just wanted like a quite a very subtle eye, like day-to-day -day kind of quad. And then we have the HD Foundation. And I have this. This is the shade Bare Buff which just looks like this. I absolutely love this packaging. I think it looks so good. I think this will probably be my pale kind of colour when I haven't got any fake tan on and I love that it's quite yellow toned as well. And then the other two I have are Fresh Beige. I'm going to put one to one side because I'm going to see how I get on with this first. And this will be the one that I would use like for instance today where I'm just like a little bit tanned just to give me a bit more colour to the skin. And like I said that is in the shade Fresh Beige. We have there a very black mascara and this just looks like this. And I think the brush is quite a very um, statement, normal brush. So it's not like one where it's going to pack on like too much volume or be like too lengthening and no volume. I think it's going to be like just in the middle, which should be good. And that's in the shade Very Black. And then we also have the shade Very Black in the liquid eyeliner as well, which just looks like this. I Honestly, I absolutely love the packaging of this collection. I think it's really, really good. And then the last three are more lipsticks. So we have the shades Warm Willow, which looks like this and what I really, really like about these is they actually the lid bit comes off and this is like a lip gloss kind of version of the lipstick so if you wanted to top it off or change it from being like a matte kind of satiny look which I'm assuming there will be then you can add this on top and it'll be nice and glowy and I just thought that was really cute because really you get an extra product in there as well and then we have the shade Marvelous Maple it looks like this. I got a lot of the neutral shades, like the nudes, and I give Amber the more bright colour. She got like a bright pink, a dark red, a kind of bright red. Like she got the more vibrant ones, whereas I wanted to go more for like the nude ones because I'm really feeling the nudes recently. And then the last one is Awesome Autumn, which looks like this. And I think this is probably the only one that I don't think I'm going to get on with very well. I think it's just going to be a little bit too milky and too like light for me. Yeah, so I'm not too sure how I feel about that one, but apart from that, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if there's anything that you want to see in a tutorial or you want me to try out any of the fake tans or anything that I've mentioned, please leave a comment down below so I know exactly what it is that you want me to do. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for Kilpatrick and Phil Unique for sending me over that goodie bag. I really appreciate it. And I'm obviously gutted that I couldn't attend the event, but thank you so much for sending the goodie bag over. And thank you to W7 for doing such an amazing competition and let me meet Stephanie Lang, which is like a huge YouTuber, and Olivia Buckland, which I absolutely loved from last year's Love Island. So thank you so much. Thank you so much to Laura for organising it all and everybody else at W7. And I'll hopefully see you in my next video. I upload Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays. So I'll hopefully see you then. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>